I'm going to use my mobile phone. It's a Google Pixel 2 as a hotspot. Connect the Ricoh Theta Z1 using Wi-Fi to the mobile phone hotspot and stream it out to YouTube. Let's get it done. You will need to have the Z1 in plug-in mode and use the wireless streaming plugin. This was covered in an earlier video. If you need help configuring client mode for the Z1 to use your mobile app as a hotspot, there's some additional pretty extensive information here on different ways to set up client mode, use the official Ricoh Theta mobile app for the configuration, and uh, set up a hotspot. I'll just walk through some of the basic steps here to kind of get you started. Pixel 2 connected to the uh, Z1 with uh, access point mode, so it's connected over with uh, Wi-Fi. I'm using the camera, the Z1, as the hotspot right now for the initial configuration. So right here, you have the wireless LAN client mode, select that one, set the access point settings, and you're going to need to set the access point of the, um, of your, your mobile phone, right? So my, my pixel here, this is the access point for my pixel. And then you would set it up with the, the passcode for your hotspot, just drop it in right here and then press OK. Just delete the uh, router first so the, the camera doesn't get confused and we'll just connect over here to the Pixel. Another point here is the authentication setting for the camera to send commands to it. And in this case, um, the passcode is just the serial numbers of the of the z1 it's only the numeric digits don't put the the theta uh, portion or any um alphabet characters on here it's just it's just right here it's just the numbers so i'm not going to break this connection to the camera at access point and connect to it in client mode and i'm going to start the plugin so if you're are new to the wireless live streaming plugin uh, get watch this video here which covers a wireless live streaming from um, the camera directly to YouTube and this video will cover all the configuration for the wireless live streaming plugin I'm just gonna focus in on some of the differences when you connect with a mobile phone as a hotspot so I'm gonna use Termix and then with Termix, if I type IP ne for neighborhood, then I get the uh, IP address of the uh, Rico Theta. Hopefully it's this one right here, 192.168.114.41. If I ping it, it's looking good. I'm gonna try to connect it with a web browser to set up that uh, wireless LAN networking it's a one-time configuration so if you have any problems maybe refer to the other video with the specifics but uh, the basic overview is the IP address right so I just got it from Termix and then it's colon 888888 and then once you hit that then you'll be able to set up the um, the, the server URL from, from YouTube, and then the stream name here. So on YouTube, if you want to do a live stream, you, instead of uploading the video, you go live, copy the stream URL here, put it at the server URL, and then stream key here, and then you also drop that into the stream uh, name slash key here. 
you're gonna need to hit this toggle before the stream starts so i'll start the stream now after i've toggled the 360 video and the stream is now in 360. congratulations you're now streaming from a mobile device on the go uh, you could carry it around with your mobile phone the phone is only connected to the z1 using wi-fi the phone is the hotspot so you could go to a concert or something and stream from there uh, when you want to start to stream you could once the, the key and the server URL are, are set you can just press the physical button on the camera itself you're on site and you're just carrying around the so I'll turn the camera on. I have my phone in a hotspot mode, right? So right when I turn it on, it already has a client mode. You don't need to configure it again. So it's already good to go with connection to the internet directly from my phone. Then I'm gonna drop it into plug-in mode right here by pressing the side button. And then I'll select the, the, the wireless live streaming plugin. Right now it's on standby, you can see it here. But if I press this here, then the stream is started. So now it's actually streaming over to YouTube. So it's, it's that simple once you get the initial configuration working. So I just went back to the stream um, or the, the panel here just to make sure that it's, you know, it's still live here. Uh, after pressing the physical shutter button on the camera body, right? Uh, so you can start and stop the stream once the plugin is loaded by pressing the uh, physical shutter button. And you can see that it's, it's uh, working as you would expect. I have it on lower resolution uh, just to conserve the bandwidth of my test here. Thanks for joining us. This is be the ninth video in our Stream Master 360 live streaming tutorial series for Rico Theta. It takes you all the way from deciding which camera model to get all through different types of ways to stream 360 video in various resolutions to different types of computers, mobile devices, to YouTube, or on your local network. Subscribe to the channel so that when we push out more videos of this type, you get a notification. Also, if you like this particular video, give it a like and we'll use that feedback as a way to decide what to make next. Have a great day.